This featured plant is red elderberry, Sambucus racemosa. Red elderberry occurs in riparian areas, open clearings such as this one, adjacent to streams. This shrub can be up to about six meters tall and it can also be very, very small. And it has, rather than it being more woody, it has sort of this pithy um, uh, interior to the, the stems and so it's sort of a little bit more spongy than, than woody. Red elderberry is characterized by opposite leaves. So compound leaves, not only are they, so here's the opposite piece here, right here they're opposite, but each leaf is made up of several leaflets. So in fact, five to seven leaflets. In this case, one, two, three, four, five. Some leaves will be made up of seven. And this is one of the characteristic ways to differentiate red elderberry from other elderberries. The other key feature with elderberry is that it has this warty um, bumps on the stem. The plant itself is sort of stinky. It doesn't have a very good odor to it. So you often will know if you're in the vicinity of elderberry by just catching um, whiffs of its odor. The other key feature, of course, is these beautiful red berries, which are not edible when raw. They come in this pure rounded sort of pyramidal shape, and they're quite abundant on this particular specimen. So the featured plant is red elderberry, Sambucus racemosa.